I'm an artist, and last year in 2006, I had an amazing opportunity to go to the country of Rwanda. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I, I knew there was a horrible genocide there 13 years ago, and um, I expected to see lots of devastation, and lots of hostility. I did expect to see a very poor country. And when I arrived, a lot of my expectations were surprised. I'd never been to Africa before. I had no idea what to expect. I knew the country had been through a horrible genocide um, 13 years ago in 1994 um, that culminated in the, the massacre of millions of people. Um, I really um, went there expecting to see a very sad country, a very poor country, and um, a lot of my expectations were, um, were changed. I met very warm people there, and I saw a country that's really rebuilding, and it was very exciting to be there. It's really welcomed as an American and as an artist and as an educator that I am. So I had my camera with me and I took pictures of the people there. One of my goals was to document the war memorials, I mean the genocide memorials, for um, the, the school that I'm going back to, Front Range, and also for, um, for my own records. And so I went to three very poignant memorials um, while I was there. One of them was in the main city of Kigali, which is the capital. Um, and there they had a memorial that was designed by an architect. It was very formal, very prescribed, very educational. You walked through and you had rooms who told you about how the genocide happened and then um, the process of, of ending the genocide and then the process of rebuilding. They had some rooms in there that, that showed you know, the people who died and the bones of the people and it was all very formal. Um, I went to two other memorials and um, they were out in the countryside. So I took this great trip into the countryside of Africa. Um, on my way, I went over a river that millions of bodies had been thrown into, the um, Nyabarranco River. And um, it, this was a very sacred river, and all this blood flowed down to Lake Victoria during the height of the genocide. And my tour guide was very, um, very uh, emphatic that I looked at this river and, and honored it and took my time there and spent time at the shores of it, which was really moving. Then I went to a church that now I sort of tried to rebuild here, um, and uh, it was called Natamara Church. And in this church, um, thousands of people were led to go to for refuge. And once they were brought there, they were uh, locked up into the church, and um, the, the tribe that was the, the, aggressive, the aggressor tribe was the Hutus, um, slaughtered all the Tutsis that were in there. Um, it was very, very tragic and very moving to see the church. So as an artist in this particular show, um, besides showing the photographs that I took, um, also built this installation which uh, commemorates what it looked like, the feeling of it, and it was exactly as this is a facsimile thereof. Um, this looks, there's were bloody shoes around, old clothes, and then inside, bones, um, and photographs of the bones that were left under the pews. Um, the, ch the, the altar was all askew, the cross was still left there, leaning on the altar. It's very, very moving. Um, my guide was a Rwandan girl who was a survivor, and she survived at the age of two by her aunt protecting her and taking her away from this scene, otherwise she would have been killed too from the scene of the massacre. I went to a few other memorials. I also went around the countryside, met the people. I did have a nice entree there through um, the school system, so I got to know people personally and I heard their stories. And the thing that impressed me most was the resiliency of these people. Thirteen years ago, two tribes were totally bitter enemies. One tribe, the Hutus, was trying to annihilate another tribe. And now they coexist, they work together, they go to school together. They're really building on rehealing their country. Um, and they have this theme, one Rwanda. Uh, so instead of being Hutu and Tutsi, it's united, it's one Rwanda. Um, so that's what this show is about and what I want to bring back to uh, the United States and to my students. Um, a bit of a, a a window into the genocide, 
and their world. Um, and that's what my photographs are back about um, the people and, and their, um, their healing and their uniting besides the, the horrible genocide. I wanted both sides to be a part of this show and um, to bring that information back to uh, the United States. Okay, thank you for sharing these images with me. I um, hope you, you look at them and reflect upon um, our, our humanity, which of course is a global, um, a global situation. And, uh, and look at these people and see how we all can be so resilient if we put our hearts and minds to it. Jaja, Benny Cabarra.